okay my people if you are wondering how this catfish pepper soup was put together so nicely and so easily and quickly worry no more just sit relax and watch how the sweet delicious goodness was put together somebody today we are going for catfish pepper soup look at the catfish is here it's been this was washed from the store so we are still going to be washing this with lemon some salt and some hot water to remove the sliminess on the skin of the fish and also to harden it a little bit the the hot water is gonna help harden the fish make it a little stronger and then we have for onions, I'm going to be using my shallot, those tiny ones, they're very flavorful. Just a tiny bit of ginger roots, some garlic, five cloves of garlic, and then I have my parsley for seasonings. Usually I season with basil, but I'm out of basil, so we make do with what we have. And then I have half a cup of jansa spice, jansa, look at it, jang, jang, jansa, this one is really dry. And then three seasoning cubes and then we have cameroon pepper in here we have feather which is this one that looks like peanut this one feather we have white pepper we have black peppers we have some cloves and then we have the spice I don't know how it's called it looks like rice grain like this one unrefined rice grain that's how it looks like I'm not saying it is unrefined rice grain no I say it looks like it and then we have this one they call it rentia or something it's very good for pepper soup so and then we have some bush onion country onion it's already grinded so this is the powder one country onion and so some lemon to help wash the fish and then we have our white yam and so now we'll be washing our fish so in washing the fish first we cut a lemon into two and then squeeze it in the fish because what we are looking for is lemon water but if you can buy the already made lemon water it's good for you I just like using everything original <laughs> like most of the things I use. I'm not saying sometimes I don't buy. I do buy. You can escape from it. You have to buy sometimes. Okay. Now we add a salt, about uh, two tablespoons of salt. Oof. Don't disgrace me. About two tablespoons of salt. We're using one very large cardfish that they had to divide the, the head into two. Now that the fish and the lemon is inside, we pour our hot boiling water. Make sure the water covers the fish entirely. Entirely, like every part of the fish is covered. For the water, we are just going to let this sit for just two minutes. You don't want it to over sit in the hot water else it will start peeling off like the skin will start falling off okay family it's been two minutes so we are pouring this out all the nasty 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 stuff all gone look at how hardened it looks okay so you have some hot water in here You go, you go, you go. Okay, now some cold water.
Okay, family, now our fish has been washed and put in the pork. It's not cooking yet. So we are going to blend everything. Put your garlic and ginger. It's been peeled. We are blending all the spices together. The white pepper and all the rest. Dump it. And then jangsa. Okay, now slice your shallot, onion, shallot, shallot. Dump in there. Just dump in everything. Even though already grind like the country onion, bush onion, we're just gonna pour. So everything just combinedly mixed together, like the Cameroon pepper. And then we are adding a little bit of red bell pepper, just half of it for some color. Don't want it too dark. So, chop this. My mini blender is broken. That's why I'm using the slash one until I get another. The lid of it is broken. So, okay. This has been, oh, it contains all the spices and everything. I'm going to be adding a little bit of water, blending it, and then moving forward. So because we are just going to be cooking this between 10 to 15 minutes, that's the reason we blended everything together. And we're just going to pour everything together, put in all the spices and everything. Add about just four to five cups of water. Add some salt, about a tablespoon of salt for now, and then we can test it and add as required. And then seasoning cubes. I always have a hard time peeling this with all the nails on. Get everything inside carefully so you don't break the fish. You want the water to carry all the spices so every single part of this fish can be well seasoned. So we are going to cover this and let it cook for 10 to 15 minutes. So before we peel our yam, we are going to be boiling the water in which we boil the yam. So make sure the water is enough to cover the yam, like completely cover the yam. We're going to be peeling our yam and putting it immediately in this cold water in order to maintain the color. Okay, family, it's been about five minutes that this goodness is cooking. We're just going to stir a little bit. Just move your spatula around wisely so you don't break it. This one is too big. I'm going to flip it over so the other side get all the juiciness 
family you can see this is ready let the simmer on very 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 low but like on one if it's label the the lowest for just five minutes just let it simmer and get everything combined so nicely so our water for the yam has been boiling we are just going to add the yam and let it cook for five minutes so the color stays the same and then we'll pour out some water and then add some salt and some sugar if you want it a little sweet completely covered with the hot butter. okay people it's been five minutes we are going to pour out some water from the yam leave just enough to cook the yam until it's completely done so now we add so now we add a teaspoon of sugar and about half a teaspoon of salt Now cover it till it's completely done. Okay, okay, family. There you have catfish pepper soup and some white yam. Please do not be a visitor or do not be a stranger in the house. Just hit the subscription button and smash the notification bell. So when next I upload an amazing and delicious recipe like this, you will not be left out. Please share with your family, friends and social networks. And please do not forget to check out my other amazing recipes. How to make some queen's cabbage. How to make some delicious yummy okra soup. What about a hundred percent delicious juice? There's just lots and lots of them. So please do well to check out those and then I will see you in my next video. Thank you, stay blessed and love you all.